A feast for the eyes is what's on offer around the corner at the Urban Paradise Art Gallery in the middle of surface. Frederick Brajot is the man behind this non-profit co-op. He has a palpable passion for all forms of art. So Frederick, I read that this gallery really focuses on art groups. What is that? Well, there's two aspects to our artwork. One is basically the idea that uh, it's a community space that we give local artists to use in their own way. Uh, they don't pay commission when they sell their art, so they get 100% of the, uh, the sales into their pocket. They run the space, they pay for the bills, they pay for the electricity, they pay for it. So it's their space in a way. Well, that's cool. So if, if you're like a photographer on the Gold Coast or a painter and you want somewhere to put your art, you just come down and see us looking at Brad Kay's photos of the Gold Coast. He swims out there in the waves, he takes photos. He's, GoPro. he's, uh, he's amazing. Yeah, and, he is. and like, well, this, for example, this black horse, where did this come from? Well, that comes from a local guy called um, uh, Joe Atancia. Joe Atancia is one of what, uh, what you call our brute artists because well, he hasn't got really an uh, academic background, so basically he's a local guy that just does wire sculptures, he does poly polyester sculpture, he makes painting, these are his painting there. Um, so he's multi-talented, and artwork is basically someone that, um, that doesn't fit into a particular mold. They right. just sit outside of the academic kind of mold that people want you to fit in as an artist. So you get recognized for one particular style or another. These guys, they're just multidisciplinary. They do whatever they want and how they want it. They're a little geniuses in their own right. So they say that every piece of art tells a story, so I'd like you to interpret this one for me. Oh, well, thank you. I thought you'd never ask. Well, this is obviously a period piece which uh, shows an extravagant side of the artist. Uh, expensive roller skates and hairstyles and the Monopoly man running off with your money once you bought it. But well done, Paul. Nice work of art here. I think you should buy it. That's all we have time for this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with us in the Great South East and thank you for playing with me. Oh, come on, give me a side note. We'll see you next week for more of the Great South East. Good luck with everything. Thank you, good luck to you too. Urban Paradise Art Gallery can be found on Surface Paradise Boulevard just opposite the Clock Hotel.